when you get paid the same thing to own some blue chip stocks that actually can go up. It makes a lot more sense to me to own those things where you can have more of an upside than just absolutely lock into that 10 year bond yield. So if yields keep going down, do you think equities could continue to go higher? I think there's no question about that. The only thing that at a certain point, and you know, we've sort of touched it a couple of times in the past couple of weeks, when those yields start really going down as they have, I mean, down to 212 on the 10 year treasury, people start worrying about why, you know, too much of a good thing, uh, unlike Mae West said, can be wonderful in stocks, but in the bond world, too much of a good thing can be worrisome. So you have to wonder why expectations are slowing and why so much money's going into that safe haven when there are perfectly good alternatives like stocks. Did the market overreact to the Fed yesterday? No, but I think Jay Powell had his second policy error, or at least PR error, of his uh, feddom. You know, when he said last fall that we weren't even close to neutral, markets reacted. They hated that. That was a bad PR move. Yesterday uh, seemed to be he was reacting to sort of a, a, a promise of a policy or, policy or a suggestion of a policy, but nothing really in the market. He messaged, I think, early. And, uh, you know, it was that draggy message that we heard during the big recession that we're going to be there for you. Um, I, I think it was a little too strong. Time will tell. But as an investor, when you hear the federal uh, chairman of the Fed say, I've got your back, you take that to the bank. And I think that's what investors are doing. Stock prices are going up. And I can't see, I think the greatest risk right now is not to be invested. And stocks aren't cheap.